Welcome to this MECO Graphics training video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bar MECO chart. The bar MECO is one of the most powerful chart types and one that we believe you should be using more frequently. If you're creating a bar chart and can anticipate your audience's next question, you should consider using a bar MECO chart instead. Let me give you an example. You can see in this bar MECO chart that we're showing GDP growth for a number of different countries on the y-axis and GDP overall in trillions of dollars as the bar width on the x-axis. That allows you to see the impact of growth on the overall global economy. Now if I showed that same chart as a bar chart, you could see that I would be able to compare GDP growth rates, but I wouldn't be able to demonstrate to the audience whether the 7.2% growth in India was likely to have a large or small impact on global growth. Now let's make this chart. If we click on MECO graphics and we select bar MECO, which is under the Meramecco icon, will automatically bring us to the MECO graphics data editor. And I want to explain the data structure here. You can see that in the default data we show the first series, which is going to be plotted on the chart, in the second series, which will determine the bar width and will be shown as a data row. So if we just paste data into the sheet, it is automatically set up to do this. So let's do that. Let's go over to Excel, copy our data, and just paste it in here. If we close the data sheet, you can see that the chart is already formatted with a data row. And that data row is also the row we're using to determine the bar width. So let's do a couple of things. If we click on the chart icon in the Meco Graphics ribbon, we can do a couple of things. First, we can sort the data. So let's sort with the highest value on the left. So again, you'll see that India is now our first bar because it has the highest growth rate. Let's also go to our values tab and format some of our values. In this case, let's make the data rows, let's give them another decimal place. Click off, and you can see that's our bar MECO chart. Let me show you another way to do this chart by using series to automatically color your bars based on region. If we click on MECO graphics, we insert a bar MECO. This time we're going to go to a data sheet that's slightly different. Let me show you what's going on here. So in this case, I instead of the single growth rate series and the secondary series, which was GDP, in this case I have three growth rate series. One is Asia, one is the Americas, and one is Europe. And that's basically going to allow me to color my chart based on regions of the world. And you'll con you can see that I've only included data where it's relevant. So Asia has data for China, Japan, and India. And Americas only has data for the United States and Brazil. So let's take this data, copy it, and paste it into our data sheet. Okay, now we have some work to do here. We need to tell MECO graphics what to do with each piece of data on the chart. So you can see that it's, it's defaulting to Americas being the data row because that was the setup that we had before. So let's say we want Asia, Americas, and Europe to show on the chart, but we want GDP to be a data row. And while we're here, we can just select to have that format. We want that to show with one decimal place. Okay, if we click off, hmm, still looking a little strange. So let's go to format chart. And let's clean up a few items. First of all, if we go to the values tab, scroll down, let's select the row for bar width. In this case, it should be GDP. And you can see all of a sudden the chart starts to look really good. Let's increase the margin so we can see what's going on. Okay, so it's starting to look good. You can see that our series are actually colored according to geographic region, but let's do a few more things to clean up this chart. First, let's sort the same way we did last time, which is highest on left. Again, India becomes our first bar. Let's also add a legend. 
In this case, let's format that legend, make it appear at the top of the chart. Let's click off of that. You can see now we have a slightly more sophisticated bar macro in that it's shaded or automatically colored by region of the world. Now you could have done this manually as well. You could go into any segment in the bar macro and choose to recolor by right clicking on it and choosing from your color palette a different, different segment color. So we could recolor China to be a different color than the others. Thank you for watching this Mechographics training video. For more videos, please visit our website.